Hello class, um, this will be our lesson for matrices. I'm going to introduce the topic and then I'm going to go over a few beginning points um, looking at matrices. So, we'll begin now. So, a matrix. What is a matrix? This will be the first thing we talk about in this subject of matrix. Um, and essentially what a matrix is, is it's just a way of collecting numbers um, and presenting them, presenting them in a different way than normal. So for example, um, typically for a matrix, we would um, have this, these brackets around the matrix. And so for example, a matrix could look like this. We could have a number one and two and three. That would be one row of the matrix. And then we can have the number five, six, and two. This would be the second row of the matrix. So, row one. Row two. So, this is an example of a matrix. And we have the row one and row two. And along with that, we also have three columns. This is column one, right here, one and five. This is column two, two and six. And this last one over here is column three, three and two. So those are, that is the basics of what makes up a matrix. We have rows and columns. And a matrix is just a good way of organizing numbers. So it's just a little different than a normal way of organizing numbers, where you could have a list of numbers. This is a list. This is a different way of organizing numbers. You could have a number line. That's another way of organizing numbers. A matrix is just it's another way of displaying numbers. You might ask, why is a matrix important? And there are different reasons why a matrix is important. Um, many high level reasons that we will not get into today. Uh, but for now, we will start by looking at uh, different ways in which you can um, manipulate the matrix. So first off, it's important to understand the dimensions of a matrix and what that means for it. So in the previous example I had, there was two rows and there were three columns. Two rows and three columns. This makes up the dimensions of a matrix, the rows and the columns. So for example, this would be two by three. You always put the rows first and the columns second. So for example, this matrix right here, the matrix one, two, three, four. The dimensions of this matrix is gonna be two by two because there's two rows, this one right here and this one right here, and there's two columns, this column and then this column here, two and four. That makes up the two by two matrix. So for example, if I wanted to, if I was tasked with writing a matrix with dimensions, I don't know, two by four, then I would go, you know, you're gonna have two rows and four columns. So you can even make spaces like this for it, for each number just like that. That's one row, that's one row, one, two, three, four columns. And if it was just any numbers, you could make any number of them. So it could be six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, four, three, anything like that. Now, moving on, it is possible to add and subtract different matrices. This is one application of a matrix and why it can be important for you. Now, when you're adding and subtracting a matrix,
when you're adding and subtracting the matrix or two matrices together, there's one rule. The one rule for this is that in order to add and subtract, both matrices have to have the same dimensions. So this is the very important rule for adding and subtracting matrices. It is impossible to add and subtract matrices if they don't have the same dimensions. So if you have one matrix over here, which is two rows by one column, and you have another matrix over here, which is two columns and two rows, you are not able to add and subtract these. It is not possible to do that. They have to have the same dimensions. So over here, a one by two plus a one by two would equal another one by two matrix. The dimensions here will always be the same for all three of these. So if you start with one by two and you add a one by two matrix, then you should always get a one by two matrix to end with. So that's the first and most important rule for adding and subtracting matrices. Make sure you get this copy down in your notes. I'll leave it up for one more second here. Okay. Now, when you're adding and subtracting matrices, it is fairly simple. It's just like normal adding and subtracting, except um, it's just a little differently presented. So for example, if I had the matrix 1, 2, 4, 5, and I wanted to add it with the matrix 3, 4, 0, 0, what would I get from that? So the first thing is to make sure that both of these have the same dimension. This matrix is this matrix dimension is two rows by two columns. This matrix dimension is two rows by two columns. So I'm good to go. My resulting matrix is going to have two rows by two columns. All three of them must be the same like this. Now, when you're doing this, it could be helpful to know, you can know that you're gonna have a spot here, 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 and here in the resulting matrix. So what I like to do is I like to make a little marks here that shows where I'm going to have resulting numbers. And so here on, it's fairly straightforward. You understand that you're looking for the spot right here. So you're going to find the numbers in each matrix that match up there, and you're going to add them. So in this case, it's going to be 1 and 3 that match up here. So you're just going to add 1 and 3, and you're going to get 4. Now for this spot, you're going to do the same thing, but for the other numbers. So now you're going to do 2 and 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Now for these next two, you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to take 4 and 0, and you're going to get 4. And lastly, you're going to take 5 and 0, and you're going to get 5. So the resulting matrix is right here, 4, 6, 4, 5. That is the basic way that you go about adding a matrix, or adding two matrices together. So that's how you do it every single time. And subtracting is the same way, except you're now, instead of adding, you're subtracting. So for example, if you want to do subtracting matrix, um, let's say we had a matrix with different dimensions. Let's say they were two by three. So you had negative one, two, three, 
zero, negative two, four. And you want to subtract it with zero, four, seven, one, one, two. What would the resulting matrix be? So the first thing, same as addition, you have to make sure that both dimensions match up the same. So this, you have two rows and three columns. One, two, three. So that's a two by three matrix. Over here you have one, two rows, and you have three columns. One, two, three. So your resulting matrix is going to be a two by three matrix as well. So again, if you'd like, you can start by making this matrix by marking off where you're going to have a spot of an entry. If this was a 3x4 matrix and this was a 2x3 matrix, then it is, a, it is impossible to subtract them. You can't do it if they're not the same dimensions. So now we have the same thing except this time we're subtracting them. So we're going to do the same thing except we're going to subtract the numbers instead of add them. So we're going to do this first spot, we're going to take this and this, and we're just going to subtract them. So we're going to have negative 1 minus 0, we get negative 1. The second entry is going to be 2 and 4. 2 minus 4 is going to be negative 2. This third entry right here, 3 minus 7, negative 4. This entry right here, 0 minus 1. Negative 1. This entry right here, negative 2 minus 1, negative 3. And lastly, we have right here 4 minus 2, which gets 2. So that's how you go about subtracting two matrices. In your homework, you're going to have to subtract and add. There's going to be some questions about asking you whether or not you can actually add and subtract them, and that will be based on the dimensions. If they're the same dimensions, you can add and subtract. Okay, so that's adding and subtracting matrices. And lastly, one more small topic we're gonna go over today, and that is called scalar multiplication of matrices. So to start, we've only done add and subtracting, um, and now we're going to look at a scalar. A scalar is another word, and basically it just means any number. So a good way to think about the word scalar, if you're confused about it, is it just means any single number. So one could be a scalar, or two or 3, or 16, or 7. Any of these could be considered to be scalars. So when we're talking about scalar multiplication of matrices, what we're really talking about is any number multiplied by any matrix. And then we're taking the resulting matrix as the final matrix when you get, when you divide, when you times that number by the matrix. So it's a pretty simple computation, just like the other two. Um, so let's say we have the matrix right here, uh, one and one. And they were asking us to find what it is when it's times by the scalar of four. Essentially all you're doing is you're going to do 4 times each component, which would be 4 and 4. That is an example of scalar multiplication. We've taken a scalar 4, we've taken a matrix with two rows in one column, 1 and 1, and we've multiplied them together 
and the resulting matrix is four. One more example. Let's say we had a little larger matrix. Um, let's say it was negative one, two, three, zero, zero, two, and one, one. So we're given this matrix and we're asked to find the resulting matrix when it is multiplied by a scalar. Let's say in this case, the scalar was negative two. Possible. <laughs> so we have the resulting matrix here. We're gonna have a three by three matrix here. We're gonna have a three by three matrix here. So it could be useful to, again, write this box where you're gonna have a number. And now we do the same thing as before, except with negative two. So we're gonna do negative two times negative one which is going to give you 2, negative 2 times 2, negative 4, negative 2 times 3, negative 6, negative 2 times 0, 0, negative 2 times 0, 0, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and so on, negative 2, 1, negative 2, negative 2, 1, negative 2, negative 2, 4, negative 8. That's what multiplying by a scalar looks like. In your homework, you're going to be asked to do this. And there's one other type of problem you're going to see in your homework. I believe it's the last one on the Desmos homework. Um, and it essentially is combining all three of these into one single problem. So it looks something like this. You're given a scalar times a matrix, let's make this a two by two, so zero, zero, one, one. And then it could be either added or subtracted with another matrix with a scalar. Let's say in this case, the scalar was three and the matrix was zero, two, three, three. And you're gonna be asked to find the resulting matrix. So for these, you're going to have to combine the skills and do scalar multiplication and adding of matrices to find the resulting matrix. Um, so it's the same thing we did before. First you're going to do this computation right here, which is going to be negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, negative 1. Right, so we just multiply negative 1 times each number. Over here, We're doing three times each number. That's gonna give me zero, six, nine, and nine. And lastly, we're gonna add them together. So we're gonna have zero plus zero. The top left entry is gonna be zero. Zero plus six is gonna give you six. Negative one plus nine, eight. And negative 1 plus 9 is 8. That's the last type of problem you can see in your homework tonight. So, this is our lesson for matrix multiplication by a scalar, adding and subtracting. Um, you guys should be able to um, add them when they're presented like this or subtract them and be able to multiply with the scalar. Um, next, we will also go into more in depth analysis of why we why we would use a matrix and also further complications with it.